The new director of the Secret Service appeared before Congress today, and Joseph Clancy had to answer an all too familiar issue misconduct by his agents. This time, it was an incident two weeks ago after a party for a retiring colleague. Here's our senior White House correspondent, Bill Plant. Director Clancy described surveillance video recorded at this security checkpoint that showed two agents in an SUV pulling up to a temporary barrier. They uh, drove at a, a very low rate of speed onto the uh, White House complex. Uh, this orange barrel uh, didn't allow the uh, vehicle to go through. It was to the right of the bumper, so they s nudged this barrel out of the way. Clancy's account of the video was far less sensational than the original story, which had the agents crashing into a White House security barricade. Uniformed officers suspected the agents had been drinking, but they were instructed by a superior to let them go without a sobriety test. There is an element within our agency that does cope with the stresses that many of you have mentioned today by uh, using alcohol. Clancy found out about the incident from an anonymous email five days after it occurred, something he said frustrated him. There's no excuse for this information not to come up the chain. Republican Jason Chaffetz, who oversees the agency, saw the answered. video this afternoon. Uh, I think they have a cultural problem that has unfortunately well documented and needs to be addressed. Now, Director Clancy also asked for $8 million to build a replica of the White House at the agency's training center. Scott, he wants to have it have bushes and fountains just like those here, which helped to shield a fence jumper uh, from officers when he entered the mansion. Bill Plant reporting from the actual White House tonight. Bill, thank you very much.